I've got myself a Bengal tiger, Shantika, and and I have got you within the opposition dugout. Yes, I know that you're. It is not fair. Okay, they're going to throw me out now. Trade secrets, trade secrets. <laughs> yes, I'm keeping an eye on them. <laughs> All right, but I also hear Shantika that you become very superstitious during this game. Tell me why. Uh, actually, we was I was sitting in the dugout, and then suddenly I was feeling very hot, so I just thought of. I mean, they they, they were taking a break, and I just thought of uh, sitting in the shade. And the moment I went and sat there, we got our first wicket, and then we I got commands and orders from. Everyone, that you're not supposed to move from there. I said, "Okay, fine." But you brought me here. Now let's see what happens. It was like full Mission Impossible to get her over here. By the way, yes, absolutely. You know, I, I, people were giving looks. Where are you going? Sort of. You know, I said, "I'll just come back in a moment. We'll be back in a jiffy." But tell me, look, uh, you were just telling me that a lot of your Bengali movies you shoot here in Hyderabad, so you're quite familiar with the city. Yes, that's right. Uh, I've come. Uh, I think. Uh, Uh, for two or three of my films, I've, I've shot here. So yes, I'm quite familiar. We, sh- we shoot in Ramuji Film City and in the city as well. So yeah. So it's like second home almost, huh? Uh, yes, <laughs> almost. <laughs> all right. What about all right? Your team didn't do too well in the opening game. It's a completely. It's a new day now, absolutely whatsoever. So what's the feeling like? Uh, like you said, it's a new day. So. Uh, They practiced, practiced again. Uh, the, the previous match was just a bad day, I think, uh, and we are optimistic. Let's hope for the best, and uh, they are doing pretty well. I mean, let's see now. We want more and more wickets now. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry for wickets. The tigress is hungry. I better get her back in her den. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming to days. It's back to you. Thank you, Mayanti. But just the feel of that uh, boundary here, the high point. Smart cut, mind you, by Rahul Sogam. He's now getting up towards the hundred mark in terms of strike rate, fifteen from sixteen. After all, he has been there for over half an hour, so it's, he must be seeing the ball well enough as well as he can. There we go. So something special needs to happen for the Bengal Tigers right now, with a run rate of 8.1. Bir Marathis have the opportunity to run away with it. Lost only two wickets so far, so they can really accelerate quite wildly towards the end. Well, Charles, this is the time where the Bengal Tigers really need to apply pressure because the Bir Marathis, if they haven't lost any wickets by the 16th over, they're going to go hell for leather, and that's going to cost them. What? As close. But not out says the umpire. Yeah, I wonder if there was a height issue, apart from a drifting down leg. But uh, Devraj, the new bowler from the Pavilion End, does know how to appeal. In fact, all the Bengal Tigers appeal very vociferously. Reggie, on just to remind you, our energy well, partners. Let me just interrupt you. The Deep Das Gupta is the mentor, a wicket keeper. What do you expect? He- If a wicket keeper can't teach you how to appeal, you're struggling. And look, let me tell you, having played with Deep for so many years, he knows how to appeal. Yeah, well, his task, uh, let me just add, would have been made easier by uh, the natural instincts of, of, of uh, most members of this team. Oh, yeah, should go one bounce to the fielder, and uh, no time it's for two. It's But you know, Rohan, you make a good point about applying the pressure now and certainly taking a catch or two if, they come, if it comes in their direction. You know, they have been short on that aspect, Bengal Tigers. They can't put the pressure now. Then we're looking at a near 200 score by the Veer Marathis. It will be impossible to chase. I just think it's the end of the over. I'll make a point after it's 87 for two after 11. Oh, I'm just coming back to the point that we were talking about in the previous over, Charu, about applying pressure. You need to get another fielder in when Sugan is batting. He's been there for 19 deliveries, has hit two fours, but he hasn't really looked aggressive. He's trying to knock the ball around for ones and twos, so deprive him, like just like that, deprive him of that single, build the pressure on him. Mule, on the other hand. Has looked aggressive. He showed a bit of aggressive intent. So when he's on strike, you'd want to have only four fielders in the circle. 
But when Sugan's on strike, just by seeing his body language, sensing what his intentions are, you would want another field in the ring. You, I know, I know. After the restriction, a lot of teams have just four fielders in the ring. But there's certain moments in the game where you can have five fielders. Take that risk, take that punt, and this is what the Bengal Tigers need to do now. When Sugan's on strike, get another fielder in the ring and deprive him of that single. Make him play an aggressive shot, which he is not so keen on doing. Make him do something that he doesn't want to do, and that may result in a wicket. Well, somebody's hearing you because there are five in the ring now, uh, for both, mind you. They need to get the facing right. They uh, perhaps need to be well inside the 30 yard ring to be able to stop the single. Because most times, if you just pat it around and the fielder's on the 30 yard uh, circle, then the single's almost on all the time anyway. Good line by Sandy. He's bowled well. Good comeback, matter of fact, after that first over where he went for 12. And of course, we know he'll enjoy bowling with off spinners to the lefty Sugan. And, you know, once again, the point that you making just so many spaces still despite five in the ring. Well, well, that's because the fielders are on the ring, on the circle, they're not inside. And what happens is if you're on the 30-yard circle, spaces are there. But if you come in about 10 yards, the angle restricts it down and and you won't get those easy singles. If you look at Jishu, he's on, that, that's a single every day of the week and twice oh on Sundays. Yeah. All you have to do is touch and run. End of the over, it's 90 for 2. Down by the Marathi. It started out very strong. Got into a bit of a hole after the loss of that first wicket. And of course, they did lose Mahesh Mandraker the eighth over. And after some effort put in by Sadat, Sadant Mule, particularly 20 from 16. Here's his counterpart, Rahul Sagan, 19 from 22. Not a man for the big shots, Sugan. But uh, he's playing a clever role here, just making sure that the possibility for the big, big crash, but there should be a fielder there for only a single. Sugan interested in the two. And they have run cleverly. And Rohan, of course, reminds us they've been allowed to. But, uh, so, Janelia will be a little disappointed that Ritesh got out on 21. And you wonder what. Uh, Shanti will be feeling. Shwantika, I beg your pardon. Oh, oh good attempt by Devraj. Did have to dive across though. Just coming back to that point, Charu. When you give the gun the single, it brings to you aggressive mule on strike, and that puts pressure on the bowler. You'd rather be bowling to the batsman who's looking to knock it around. Good effort. Can't fault him for effort there. Oh! It's certainly not out. No case for an appeal there. But a big swing and a miss by Sunant Malay. I just wonder if these guys are feeling the pressure in there because they were. Uh, I mean, it was only an aberrational at the start. They were at 10 11s at that point of time, and now down to 7.34, they're on rate. And uh, the projected score down to perhaps the 160s when they had the opportunity, because they have so many wickets uh, in hand, to perhaps go into the late 100s. Full of delivery. Easy, easy, easy. Shy. Easy. Good wale, good wale, good wale, good wale, good wale. Uh, commitment behind that, shy. So, Ron, back to the opportunity. Um, we were looking at maybe the late 100s, 180, 190. And now it does look, unless there's a, a huge trash in the last one or two overs, of perhaps a 165, 170. Well, I think 165, 170 would be a very competitive score. Is there going to be an overthrow? No, there is. The end of the over, 94 for 2. <laughs> Thank you. 